These last few days, we have had strange interference from unknown frequencies. Have you noticed? It's also interfering with our signals. Have you been able to identify it? Not yet, I'm afraid. But we'll... What's the matter? We have communication interference, cause and origin unknown. Programmer, I want an identification of that object out there. Right. I've never seen a spacecraft behave like this in my whole life. Well, now, that's strange. Captain. What is it? The station is moving off course. I don't know how this could happen. Never mind. I want you to get us back on course now. Captain? That mysterious spacecraft is headed toward us. What are your orders, sir? Controller, put me through to the whole ship. Yes, sir. I have an announcement to make. Listen well, everyone. The situation is critical. We are being approached by a spacecraft of which we know nothing, but whose presence coincides with the ship veering off course inexplicably, and our transmissions are being blocked. So I declare a red state of emergency. You know what that means. Be ready for the worst, and good luck to everyone. How's the computer? Were you able to block those strange frequencies? Yes, I did. Everything's working fine. That's excellent. Let's start the testing right away. Yes, Doctor. Everything is at the ready, and we're just waiting for your orders. Then let's start the flying test. Get everything ready. Super Mazinga 3, go! to fly in space, whatever the danger. Well said. Get back to the research center straight away. All right. We'll be right back. Looks like our flying test was a real success. Prepare to return. David, why not fly her a little longer? She's right, buddy. This is our chance. Why not fly her a bit more before returning to base, huh? No, Dr. Han told us to return to base, so that's what we'll do. Contact. I've never seen anything like it before. I... I can't 
Figure out what it is. M maybe it's a ghost ship, huh? Don't be such an idiot, you dummy. Why, you afraid of ghosts or what? Be quiet, you two. This is no time for joking. Oh, no, I think it's going to attack us. That was a close call, David. I've never seen anything like it. Let's check it out. Where did it go? Oh, I don't like this. Let's go back. I can't understand it. It just disappeared. Oh, God, there it is. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh it's attacking. What should we do now? We defend ourselves. What do you think? Attack! We have to change to another strategy. Get ready. Mazinga 3, separate now. wondering too. That must be the strongest robot on planet Earth. Yes, it's quite impressive. Let's find out more about it from the investigative agency. Are you ready? Don't worry about me. Go ahead. I'll catch it. No problem. Oh, stop that, you fool. You haven't caught it once. Well, hey! I just lost the game. Come on, Paul. Just admit that you're a rotten player. I certainly am not. Why did he catch it? That's because he's better. But it makes no difference. Stop arguing, you two. You're as good as I am. Here, catch. See that? I caught the ball. Now watch me throw it, OK? 
Well, there you go. You can't even hit the ball. Well, nobody's perfect. Even a monkey can fall off a tree. on the research center. Why, he took pictures of Mazinga 3, too. Well, that would make sense if he was a spy, but it's really strange. I wonder what a spy would... Come on, hurry, let's tell Dad. We've known about the existence of this strange spacecraft for some time now, and we still don't know any more about it than we did before. Now that it's attacking us, this is very serious indeed. And that spacecraft shows that their technology is light years ahead of ours. I agree to that. What's more, recently many of our spaceships launched for space exploration have completely disappeared. Is there any connection with that spacecraft? You may be right, Doctor. <laughs> completely lost contact? Yes. A total blank on all our radar frequencies. Hmm. And you've no idea what happened? During their last message, they said there was interference, possibly caused by the spacecraft. Then the lines were cut and we heard nothing more from them. What about the controller? Is he dead or what? There's no way to find out. Right, well, keep me informed. David, get on over here right away. What's up, Doc? Why isn't Angie with you? She's in the waiting room, Doctor. The Korean investigation space base is gone. It's completely disappeared. What? But Angie's mother isn't there. How can a whole base just disappear? I don't know either, but the space department tells me the space base is nowhere to be found. Any leads? Not yet, but a tenuous link has been made to that spacecraft of yours, and we still can't figure out what it is. It's okay. It's Angie's mother. You can open the door. Mom? Oh, Mom! Angie, how are you? Mama, do you think I look much prettier now? 
Oh, of course you do. You're getting prettier and prettier every day. We're preparing for the alien invasion. We're armed and ready for orders. Oh, Mom, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, nothing. Mom, you look weird. Weird? Mom, do you want to go and see the doctor? Uh, d doctor? I feel very tired now. Let me take a rest first. I'll go and see the doctor later. Mom, you're right. You really do look very tired. Well, why don't you lie down in my room for a while, hmm? She's acting strange. Don't be so suspicious. Maybe she's exhausted. No way. I think it's only an excuse, David. I feel she's hiding something from us. You've already seen it. Yes, but I don't want to go and see it again, please. Well, I guess it won't do any harm. Thanks, Angie. I can look at the Mazinga for hours and hours. That fist alone is as strong as a tanker. And look at the gigantic body and those sparkling eyes. Oh, that lady! Sanji's mother! What's she doing here? Uh, oh. <gasps> ghost! Ghost! Angie, Angie, I just saw a ghost out there. What's that? Did you just say you saw a ghost? Angie, it's true, and that ghost just looks like your mother. I saw her jump off the Mazinga's head, and she landed on her. It's true, it's true. What are you saying? But it's true. What, what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know. It is Mother. What the? Hush, keep quiet. What are you doing down there? Emergency signal. There must be an intruder inside. I'll go check it out right away. Why is Angie's mother? What, what are you doing? What's the matter? She's an alien spy. How could you disguise yourself as my mother? Let's bring her along. We can interrogate her. Get going.
really beautiful. Oh, stop talking rubbish and just keep a sharp lookout. I am. I am. Dr. Han, quick! There's an alien spacecraft coming straight towards us. What? Quick! Activate the shutterproof shield now! on the Zynga. Blow it up, do you hear? Blow it up! In order to invade the Earth, the Andrew Mader has been gathering detailed information on us for some time already. That, that means they'll be attacking us soon with a whole armada. Well, that's very hard to tell, because at the moment we still don't have much detailed information. Do you think that those spaceships we sent out would be destroyed by them all? That is possible. Um, my mother... According to my computer brain, the digits of which all laid out would be the size of a football field, Angie's mother is still alive. Still alive? The first reason is the fact the alien was disguised as Angie's mother and knew how to come here. That proves she is alive. What's the second? The second reason... Uh, the, the, the second reason... Uh, uh. You imbecile! You don't know anything! Now hold on there. Mark is quite logical. In order to get all the information they can on planet Earth. Mother! They might be keeping Angie's mother as their prisoner. Angie, we know what you're going through now. I want you all to prepare for immediate action. Oh, that's great! Right, let's go! Hold it. You two aren't coming. What? Uh -huh. We can't go? 
I'm sorry, but you two are much too young for such a dangerous mission. You'll have to stay here. Oh, Dad, I really can't go with you. But if your genius Mary stays here, do you think stupid David and Angie, and especially dumb Piggy, will be able to handle such a dangerous mission? Hey, my genius Mary will just have to stay here. Now don't make your father worry. This is the best way. Oh, Daddy. Yeah, just there, that's all. They're not going to get away with it. Not you just wait, they're not. They're not going to get away you with know, it. No, Dr. Han must be really completely out of his mind. Hey, don't you dare call my father's name, you. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. You and I are in the same boat. I don't care. Anyone who insults my father will get their fist in their face. Understand? Now, don't argue. It's not very nice. I don't waste no time. Better to join in the battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh, God. on. Speak up. What happened to you? Uh, Mary and Paul came into us and now they have gone. Ah, they're real troublemakers. to keep an eye on the radar screen. Just watch when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Crazy. Since when do robots sleep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two, you can take off those masks right now. What? what? How did you know? I knew it the moment you came in and sat down. <laughs> but hey, David's really super. So the robot comes again. Only this time we will be ready for it. Commander, what should we do? Do we send our full report to President Andrew? What do you think? No need. That old fool should be no problem at all. Send out our fleet of fighters. They should be able to handle anything. Yes. Attention all units. Prepare to attack. Prepare to attack. Ah, oh, look at you two. Asleep already. Hey, look! Spacecraft coming! Well, check it out quick! Oh. Mm. Blades! They seem to be scouts from the Andromeda. Everyone to battle stations!
him first. Super Mazinga 3, separate! fleet was completely destroyed. I really underestimated them badly. I was a fool. Attention, destroyer escort. Bomb that thing from Earth. Blast it, smithereen. Their destroyer escort to us. Super Mazinga 3, reunite! If we keep on like this, our destroyer escort will also be destroyed. Destroyer escort, pull back, retreat! strong you are, there is nothing you can do now. Now is the time. Smash it to smithereen.
Oh my gosh! Stop the attack. Return to base. Return to planetary base. If we get caught in that cloud, we're finished. Hurry up! Get going! Here. Has everyone died except me? Except me too. Mary, you're all right. We made it out of that terrible electric cloud. Oh. 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 Quick, everybody, back to your posts. We must check the flight circuits carefully. Piggy, where are we now? Watching the funny clouds. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, look! It's the electrical cloud they call Devil! energy levels are reaching the zero point. In this state, Mazinga won't be able to go back to Earth. like sitting ducks, are we? Well, what else can we do? We can keep on trying until the last minute. We've no more energy. And as long as we're sitting right inside the eye of the cloud devil, there's nothing more we can do. Well, I say we can still try our best, right? You're right, Angie. So we'll fire the main engine. Fire! President, here's my report. Our detailed investigations show us that the Earth possesses the best natural environment in this solar system. Furthermore, it also contains the richest natural mineral resources. 
If that be so, then we must take possession of it immediately. Yes, my president. I'll be ready for the invasion. <laughs> Give up. to invade the Earth. We must conduct a detailed study to examine the human carefully. Finish your study on him as soon as possible so that we may begin our invasion plans. Yes, our beloved president. The most beautiful planet in the solar system will soon be in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Everyone is alive. Only Mazinga is dead. He's not dead. He's just recharging himself. Oh, really? But I don't know how that can be. I don't know either. Where could he be getting his nuclear energy from? so there's really no way for us to know. Oh, David, look, over there. Huh? It's a cave. Uh-huh, seems to be man-made. I'm sure it's man-made. Angie, let's go in. Uh-huh.
Data from my family tell me the truth across the planet Earth. And further analysis shows you are not of the violent kind. Hmm, never expected to find such an advanced computer here. We've been waiting for you. You are the one who can help us. And how can we help you? It's very simple. If you help us, we will help you return. What can we do? From now on, just follow my instructions. If this is a trick, don't count on our help. Don't worry. There is no deception here. Well, in that case, let's start. Thanks for your help, miss. <gasps> Dr. Orr, what progress have you made with your detailed study on the humans? Don't worry, everything is going smoothly. The only thing left is the antibiotic data. Good. How are the invasion plans? Everything is ready. We only await your command. That's good. Very good. Now let me know when we're ready. Final check. Everything's okay. Final check. Everything okay here, too. What about the computer? The computer is ready to go. And the radar's okay, too. Thanks for your help, Prince Orion. Without you, we'd still be helplessly stranded in space. Please, it was nothing. It was fated that we meet. The energy levels are full. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Great. Let's go. Turn on the main engine. Super Mazinga, go! President Andrew's carrier is traveling through the marble asteroid belt. That's perfect. Prince Orion says we can make use of that carrier to make our attack on Andrew.
Watch out. Steer clear of the marble asteroids ahead. Don't worry about a thing, Commander. Asteroid. Well, be careful not to do it again. Yes. Oh, oh. Prepare the last experiment. Start the experiment? Hmm. All right. Experiment begin! I'm dying. I'm dying. The great Dr. Orr is dying. It's such a genius as I. I'm dying. Couldn't you even beat one moronic tin can robot from Earth? <laughs> Come on, release the robot dog. Let them be bitten to death.
hello. Oh. 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 No. Don't, don't desert me now! 